this service one more time. Amen. I don't know what you came to do. Amen. But as an individual person, I came to leave my sacrifice of worship, my sacrifice of praise. We're going to have an opening prayer by Elder Mike Dawn. Ask everybody to stand for us.
God for those that gave, God, and those that wanted to give. But we ask, God, that you allow it to be used for your glory, God, and we just thank you, God. We thank you, Father, for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're yet to do. Father God, we lift you today, God, because you said if we lift you, Father, then you would draw all men. Ah, God, have your way in the house today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We thank you for your liberal giving. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask that we have one more song. While we're having that song, I'm going to ask you to turn your Bible to Acts 5, 38, 39. Acts 5, 38, and 39. May the work I've done <laughs> speak for me. Parents and the parents against the children. He made a group of people to see 
all this lawlessness and this wickedness that's going on. He made a group of people to see what he said in his word he was going to do. He made a group of people to do that. And you are seeing things in the earth realm you've never seen before. And the church has been standing some 2,000 years since Jesus died. That is supposed to have the power that Jesus had when he conquered the world. Not fail, not yield to the world, but when Jesus conquered the world, he said, I give all that power to the church. Amen. And all it took to shut the church down was a pandemic called COVID. Everybody started shaking in their boots and they started closing the most powerful entity in the whole world called the church of Jesus Christ. And then people started getting behind other people that were blind. Well, and following other people that were blind. Well, so when you read Acts 538, 539, Acts 538 says, when man is in it, it will come to naught. But if I be a son of God, ain't nothing can overthrow the God in me. That's right. Because the power of heaven, in order for the power of heaven to be on earth as it is in heaven, some man or some woman got to say, here am I. Send me. So in order for God's power to be seen, it was seen in Jesus first. And then Jesus looked at Paul and said, I'm giving it to you. And he looked at Matthew and said, I'm giving it to you. He looked at you and said, I'm giving it to you. And when everybody else is backing up, the church is supposed to be marching forward. Yes. Yes. So get for here we are. And in order for me to give you a document of God said it and not trash. Ephesians 5, Ephesians 6, 10 and 11. Ephesians 6, 10 and 11 says, put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand in the evil day and do all that you can do to stand against the wiles of the devil. Wiles of the devil means the deception of that COVID can shut God's power down. The deception that holiness is what you pay out of your pocketbook or a building you go to. What's happening is the church has been actually all the time running the church on the wrong system. Well, uh -huh, yeah, 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 yeah. I came for well, you today. Yeah, I came for you today. The church has been running the church on the wrong system. See, this is not where God hangs out at. Till you come back to church, God goes home with you. He lays down with you. He gets up with you. He walks with you. God don't stay here. This building ain't set apart for God. When Jesus came and died on the cross, and when he left, he sent himself back to live in you. And stay. I'm waiting on a man to do something. <laughs> when God said, I'm living in you. Right. So you look at the Levitical yeah. system. Let's, let's break it down. Let's break it down. When you look at the Levitical system in the Old Covenant, we're going to look at two words. Holiness, and we're going to look at sin. From the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. The Old Covenant Travis didn't have to change. All Travis had to do was get him an animal. Go give it to the priest. Tell the priest to take this. Then Travis can go back for a whole year and live just like Travis wanted to live. So the Levitical system was set up on what you give. Y'all didn't get that detail. Oh, Y'all didn't get that detail. The Levitical system was set up on a day. Oh, you, you, you ain't get that, did you? Mm -hmm. The Leviticus system was set up that you take that sacrifice, go give it to the priest on the day that the priest told you to bring your sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at the new system. The new system says, ain't no animal got to die for you. That's right. Or you ain't got to go find no pastor no more. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. You ain't got to get that pastor to go behind the, behind the, the veil to talk to God no more. Uh -huh. Jesus, because Jesus said, I came to fulfill all that sacrifice stuff. Yeah, he said, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make one sacrifice. Yeah. He said, then I'm going to look into it in Romans 12. I'm going to tell you, I beseech you, brother, by the mercy of God, that you give your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. If you ain't giving God you, your money ain't no good. That's right. Say so. If there ain't no wine in the house, it ain't got no business being no sacrifice. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> well, well. So when you look at what Jesus did, let's break it on down. We got to reach back and pick up sin and what the deal is with sin. In the Old Testament, sin was that when you fail to do what God asked you to do, which was to bring the priest that sacrifice. Huh? Sin was when you separated from believing in what God said. Huh? Okay, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed you on up because you ain't got much time. And I'm going to tell you what sin is in the New Testament. I ain't got to go very far. I ain't got to talk about Minister Wayne Annie. And I ain't talking about Tutu, Sister Boo Boo. I ain't got to talk about Mr. Dodo. All I got to do is tell you this right here. Sin in the New Testament is simply for you to try to have faith in God without love. Mm -hmm. Let me walk down now. Let me walk down now. Plenty of preachers standing in the pulpit. Plenty of people sitting in the congregation. And none of them got love. And God said, I sent my son in an act of love. And if you ain't got love, which means if you ain't got no relationship with God, ain't no sacrificing and nothing else you got. So therefore, I came to tell you today to separate what you think is holiness because if you're going to live a system that you got to live back yonder, you need to go get you some animals. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Yeah, you need to go get you some animals. And therefore, you need to understand this first and foremost. And this is what you need to understand. When he said, I beseech you, brethren, to present yourself, he said, I'm going to come down and I'm going to live in you. All right. He said, in my love, John 15, he said, my love. He said, I'm the vine, God speaking. He said, you the branch. Galatians 5, 22, 23, said that what I'm going to produce in you from you being attached to me, not you being attached to the Baptist, not you being attached to the Pentecostal, not you being attached to the Seventh-day Adventist, because it ain't about what they say, it's about what Jesus is doing. And when you present yourself, he comes in and make you the church house. Thank you, Jesus. So therefore, when we get an understanding of what I'm talking about here, I don't want to lose nobody. <laughs> Number one is the sin in the Old Testament. People that tell you today, sin mm -hmm. is sin. Mm -hmm. That can't be true. Watch this. <laughs> when, the, when the Sadducee said, Jesus, what laws are the most important? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, love the Lord thy God. Yeah. All thy heart. Mm -hmm. All thy soul. All that money. Yeah. Love your neighbor yeah. as yourself. Yeah. Then he told Paul, said, Paul, you go tell them that if they ain't got love, they can be speaking in all tongues. Yeah. They can know yeah. all words and all knowledge. Yeah. But if they have not love, yeah. ain't nothing they doing no good. Uh -huh. So I'm worried about money yeah. when my heart ain't got no love. Go ahead. Come on, man. Come on, man. Say something. Yeah. Because when heart, the heart got when you got love for God, you looking at me and I'm looking at you. Amen. But when it's about anything else, I can't come because the praise ain't right. I can't come because the prayer ain't right. I can't come because the people ain't right. But God is always right. Oh, yeah. If it's about God, if it's about God, if it's about God, if it's about God, it don't matter. So, we, 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 we got it mixed up what sin is. Mm -hmm.
Because we behind, 2,000 years behind Jesus. And the church is going on operating and ain't got no love. But they worried about everything. They worried about the money. They worried about the people. But where your love for me? Where your love for me? And especially if I'm in God, I'm a product of what God is. Because if I'm a product of what God is, and I'm hooked to Him, what's going to come out of me? It's going to be love. If I don't give God his love, if God is loving you, God, He's going to come out. Because He's just that power. He ain't going to pull him back because the car don't look right. He ain't going to pull him back because the building ain't right. He ain't going to pull him back at all. Because he done did away with all that sacrificial thing. Yes, right. The only reason this building is special is because a long time ago, I want to stand in a vision now. Can I talk about an expectation now? Yes. Long time ago, when y'all were little snotty young kids, <laughs> and there was a building put up over y'all, yes. somebody came into that first building and celebrated. It probably was your great grandmama, your daddies, and ever who went. They celebrated. God has given us a place. Of worship. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you standing at the crossroads. <laughs> All that God has done for y'all down here. Y'all yeah. ain't got no reason to draw back to wait for nothing. Amen. What y'all should be doing is say, God yeah. has delivered us. Yeah. We need to be watching for. Yeah. We need, don't need to be standing behind nobody, waiting on nobody. Yeah. If God be for you, yeah. who can be against you? Now you just read it in the Acts of the Apostle. He said that God is in it. And nobody can bring it to nothing. Right. He said if God is in it, who else? He said I am myself fighting with God. So somebody got to stand up and say, here am I, Lord. Yes, Lord. Send me. I'm going back to holiness now. Thank you, Jesus. Because I want you to understand that holiness ain't a ceremonial thing you do on Sunday morning. Go ahead. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Holiness ain't. <laughs> Can you bring your sheep to the church? Go on and say, Pastor. Why? And I'm going to say, Well, come on. I need your sheep. And go on and say, Pastor. I don't live by the circumcision of the flesh no more. Yes, I don't the sacrifices I give, talking about I'm going to be blessed because I give to you. Go ahead. <laughs> what I'm being blessed by is me diligently hearkening unto the voice yes, of the Lord. Lord. Yes, and me yes, doing Lord. what God wants me to do. See, the churches are trying to mix you giving a sacrifice in with the blessings of God. That ain't what God. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. God says, if you want this system that I got, present yourself. Mm -hmm. yes. Present yourself a living sacrifice. He's with you. You can have a Shekinah glory time if you realize where the Shekinah glory of God is. But here's mm -hmm. what most people, most people get in their mind. Here's what they believe in God. <clears throat> well, I ain't going to church today because I ain't got no, no, no sacrifice of tithe. Uh -huh. I can hear God talking to Jesus. Did you not tell me that if they bring their sin? That's right. Hosea 6.6 6 is going to be my point of reference. Mm -hmm. I don't want your burnt offering. I don't want your sacrifices. Go ahead. I want your love. Go ahead. He said, I don't, want, I don't want your sacrifices. I don't want your burnt offering. He said, bring me let me step over here and see. He said, bring me, you know. And we are so busy in church business that we way back there in the Old Testament and we ain't caught up with what Jesus did. Nobody's saying when he says, I came to fulfill the law. If love don't fulfill it, a multitude of sins can't be covered. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. So we're mixing two systems. And when we mix the two systems, what sin is in the new system 
is simply this. For you to even try to have faith in God with no love, you sin. For you to try to preach with no love, you sin. For you to go to church and say, I'm a Ku Klux Klan, and I can go to church and go on the way to heaven, and I'm hating people because of the color of their skin, you sin. And so you're worried about the tithe and the offering, but you ain't examined. You ain't proven, oh, yeah. and you don't know whether or not you got love or not. Oh, now, here's what he says in John 15. He said, I am the true body of the branches. Let's bridge that a minute. Let's bridge. He said, he that is abiding in me and I in him, you're going to produce fruit. Oh, yeah. and, and he said, then they will prove you back and you will have more fruit. Right. Okay, now let's look at the fruit. Galatians 5.22 said the, the fruit, the first, the first thing that comes out with the fruit is love. Yes. The first thing. So wait a minute. 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 I'm going to tell you, sister, so and so, God called me to preach. Oh yeah, he anointed me to preach at 16. But he wouldn't turn me loose to preach because you know why? I didn't have the glue that holds all of it together, which is love. See, because I would take the gift and run into the church and be biting people's head off with the gift, but I have not the fruit. See, it takes the maturing of the tree of life to yeah. produce that love. Yeah. And you don't wait on the process and wait, I say, on the Lord. You would take the gift and run off yes, and be Lord. biting people's head off. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find reasons why you won't do for God what you supposed to do for God because you don't realize relationship. See, because here's the deal. Y'all can look at me, and I'm going to tell you quite frankly, that God has the truth is best of my ability. I'm preaching to you, but I'm not preaching at you. If I'm right with God, God will make everything else right with me. I got to make sure I'm right with God. Yes. And then God will make it right between me and you. But the first thing I got to understand is my heart if my heart, brother, if my heart ain't right with God, ain't nothing else going to be right. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to see y'all right there. I'm going to see y'all right there. I'm going to see y'all right there. See, because in Genesis 1, 26 and 27, God told you to finish product. What did he say man and woman was male and female? The image and life is in you. God says in Jeremiah 29 11, he said, this is what I expect. I expect for you to attach yourself to the spirit of life, the tree of life. And when you attach yourself to the tree of life, I want a product that speaks everlasting life. He said, I don't want no product speaking of cactus when I got a plum tree. Oh, no, 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 no. You attached to the tree of life, and I want you to forgive you, give me your say. I don't want you to get your things. I don't want you to get your your, your money. Oh, yeah. I want you to get your heart right. and establish the relationship that I sent my son Jesus yeah. to have in you so that I know you and you will know me and we can set everything else in the right place. Yes, Lord. <laughs> when people run away with the gifts and don't wait on the fruit, you know what happens? When they don't wait on the loop. <laughs> How you doing, know, sister? Just love. You know, I saw something gay. I saw something gay that I just don't agree with. Uh -huh. See, but all of us are here. Do you agree with God? Amen. Why are you worried about what you whether or not you agree with me when you're here for God? You about to buy this. That's God in your hand right there. He said, man should not live a bread alone, but by every word every season. That's my God. What you worried about what I what you couldn't agree with me for? I'm trying to agree with him. I'm trying to tell you to agree with him. I'm trying to tell you there's a way that seems right to a man, and in the end it's certain death. I'm trying to tell you most of y'all are having the problems you are having is because you don't know how to get rid of the old person. Oh, wow. Wow. You're just a good person <laughs> going to the building on Sunday. <laughs> Every now and then, ain't living by no words, so you ain't getting no results. 
I came to tell you something today. Shake off them devils. Shake them up. Shake off them devils because they're pulling you down. And the thing about it is, you're not a product of God. You're a product of yourself. And when you get in trouble, you want to take your product and your problem over here to Sister Sue's. And you want to tell Sister Sue your problem, and you want Sister Sue to take your problem, take what her blessings has, and give you a blessing, and then you want to take that blessing, which is holy because Sister Sue lives a godly life, and you want to go back down there and give it to the devil. No. So you can't get rid of your old self. You want me to tell you why? Your old self caught back up with you? No. You ain't been living by no word. Go ahead. He said, give me this day. Yes. My day to bring it. Yes. And then when you throw that leg out the bed, you trip up because you love yourself. You do exactly what you want to do when you want to do it. You leave God behind. Yes. But then still yes. it's God that woke you up in time. Yes. But you run out and left him. And whatever you decide you're going to do because you've been caught in that perilous thing. And that perilous thing tells you, love yourself. Love what you want to do. You don't care how you look to other people. You just want to do what you want to do when you want to do it. And then you'll walk into the church and say, well, go ahead. Ain't nobody perfect. No. But God got blood. When he puts that blood on you, he'll enter you in. I don't care how filthy you are. When he put that blood on you, then you will try to please him. If you will try to please him, he'll, be, he'll bring you from the old you. And all you got to do is say, God, I don't have that. Here's what he said about that. He said, confess it then. Right. Confess what's wrong with you. Yes. Don't run around the sister to you trying to get her blessings. <laughs> go go down on your knees in your own room. Yes. Right. Tell God I got a problem. Yes. And then God will say, well, I can tell you, you tried it because you wanted to meet. Right. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too many people carrying their problems yes. to other people. Oh, hey. yeah. I'm sitting home reading my Bible. Uh -huh. And here come the problem up the driveway. I heard it before he got there. Who is that? Where's that guy? Here he comes. Hey, Ram. I want to know. I know all you 60. I want to know if I can get 60 more. I said, no. Let me explain something to you. I'm diligently to the Lord. I'm not all that, but I try to listen to him. I try to believe him. And me trying to believe him and work and give it to Deuteronomy 28. He blesses me. His blessings run me down. Now, you want me to take that which is God is blessing me to be holy. And you want me to give it to you after I gave you the first 60. What you going to do with it? What you going to do? What did you do with the first 60? His girlfriend said, he smoked dope with it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm a dope smoker. Recovery. Amen. If I ain't going to smoke dope with God's blessing, Amen. why would I want to enable you to smoke dope with it? That's right. No. No, you go ahead on. Because you headed to the hog pen. And when you get in that hog pen, whether you know it or not, you going to come now. Are you going to come when you get in that house, people? But me enabling you to do what you do with God's money? No. Amen. I'm not doing it no more. Because you want me to tell you why? He'll never look at his sins and see his mistakes. And he'll never get rid of that old him as long as people stick their hands Go ahead. Go ahead. and help them do what they want to do. Now, now I, I said all that to come to right here. See, because the Bible said we're supposed to stand against what's wrong. That's right. Thank you, Sister Lewis. I'm, I'm here to stand against the things that's wrong. I don't want to talk about people. I don't want to call them no name. I want to call them spirits. Amen. Principalities. Yeah. Rulers of darkness. Go ahead. Let me tell you something. Think back for a minute, y'all. Think back for a minute that uh, y'all 
grandmamas and them that prayed, Lord, let us have a church. Think back for a minute. Your ancestors that prayed, God, we thank you for giving us a church. Amen. Not only did you give us a church, Lord, but you proved yourself. You gave us land. God did that. What you say you gonna let bring it to now? What did you say you gonna back up for? What do you say you gonna sit back and let what God gave you out of miracles and prayers? What do you say you gonna sit back and wait on? Not one day. Not one day. Not one Sunday have I missed preaching. They could shout COVID to the top of the rooftop. I'm COVID. I'm the answer to COVID. Uh -huh. I'm the answer to COVID. I'm gun singing, word talking, birds I shoot, past the sun. And I got an anointing that shuts it down. Not because of who I am, but Lord, show them what you're showing me. Show them that cloud of witnesses that I carry with me every time I walk. I don't fear nothing that can hurt the body because God touched my soul. And if he ever touched your soul, he'll turn you around from who you used to be. You don't know my story, but I'm going to tell you something. God has been good to me. And I'm going to tell you this right here. We need to get an understanding. The defining of who I am is the driving force of what I am. Let me say that again. The defining of who I am is the driving force of who and what I am. Because I'm my own assignment from God, it defines me. It gives me a finished product. Because, see, the finished product is the fruit of the Spirit. That's what he told you to know them by. Let me explain to you. I'm attached to the tree of life. It has already produced its fruit in me. Its fruit is a finished product. You will notice that the Bible says it's not what goes in you that defiles you. He says it's what comes out of you that defiles you. So if I'm attached to God and God is love, when I open my mind, we ought to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. If I'm holy God and he in me, because we're not under the old sacrificial That's system. Right. He don't work on the outside system. He don't work on the outside no more. He working from the inside. Yes. And if he working from the inside, if he in me and I'm attached to him, when I open my mind, he ought to, yeah. he ought to come out, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna be a little worried, sister. Mm -hmm. And if I keep opening my mouth, he don't never show up. Mm -hmm. Cause he said he was going to work on the inside. Yeah. Matter of fact, he said he was mechanicing on my soul. Oh, well, <laughs> so now, if I'm walking, I'm supposed to have love when I come in. <laughs> and I got that right there. What am I attached to? Oh, y'all are going to take it. Y'all are going to take it. Y'all, what am I attached to if I manifest in the scratch If I manifest things that God did not say, if I do things God did not ordain me to do, Who am I attached to? Sooner or later, sister, so if I'm attached to God, He gonna reveal Himself and what I'm doing, right? Yes. You see, you see me in signs and wonders. Yes. That's what He said would happen. Right. He said, if you're attached to me, signs and wonders. Yeah. Yeah. He said, signs and wonders gonna follow you. Yes. Is that not right? So much so, here's the deal. In the Old Testament, they were given the animals for a sacrifice. Huh? Let me tell you what kind of sacrifice I can give. When I receive myself by the mercies of God, to be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, I can take that word. Sacrifice that word out of my mind into the earth atmosphere. 
The earth was built to receive that sacrifice of the word of God. The earth was made to receive the sacrifice of prayer. The earth was made to receive the sacrifice of prayer. But after that, if I have a receipt myself to present myself to receive the sacrifice that makes me a son or a daughter of God. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I got myself that time. I got to go <laughs> If I don't present myself to be a sacrifice, I can't receive Jesus to be a sacrifice. So what you'll be doing is you'll be going to church, but with no relationship. And you'll be stuck on bringing your tithe and your offering. And you'll be stuck in, in laying Sunday aside. You won't know in one Sunday afternoon, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if it's Sunday come, oh, I got, I got to go to church. But he's not interested in one day no more. It's an everyday thing when you're a Christian. It's an everyday thing, every minute thing. You lay down with him, you get up with him. You walk with him, you talk with him. He is your father, you are his son and daughter. Yeah. And I can go tell him, Father, they were looking at me kind of weird, but I don't care. Go so, ahead now. Because Father ain't like, Go ahead. No, you know, Daddy, I tried, I tried to do this how I talk to him, sister. I said, Daddy, I tried to do right, but I ain't got that. But now, Lord, I'm going to confess what I got. But I ain't got that right there. Now, you need to help me. Go ahead. Lord, you need to help me right there. Because I ain't got that. So now, here's the deal. What's killing the church is number one is they're trying to offer God sacrifices instead of their heart. Go ahead. Number, no, no, number two is, number two is, is that the church wants to look up and want you to be like me. And I want me to be like her. All of us supposed to be being like Christ. That's right. Huh? Oh, uh, you know, before we get out of this church, somebody, somebody going to say something about something I didn't agree with. Oh, well. Uh -huh. I'm standing on the word of God. Amen. I don't care what people say or don't say. I am a spiritual good son. If you want to see me perform at the highest peak of performing in God, show me where there's a demon that can step on a head. Amen. I'm coming. <laughs> See, because I want y'all to know if you don't hear me say nothing else, if you keep your life focused on God, yes. your life will come out right. But quit trying to give God things. Please. Please. Quit trying to give God things, your money. Yo, how's your car? God said, this stuff down here, I ain't want it. He said, I got stuff you ain't never seen before. He said, what I want, you won't give it to me. He said, please, please give me your heart. Yeah. If you give God your heart, everything will work out for you. If you give God your heart, everything will work out for you. Now, Tommy, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all on the road to recovery or y'all on the road to failure? And the reason why you're on the road to recovery is because God has stood Tommy Hawk at the crossroads. And the devil has struck y'all for a minute. And here's the deal of what's happening. How you doing, sister? I'm doing fine. How's church going? It's going all right. I'm waiting on us. We waiting on us. What did God say? That's right. Go ahead, man. What did God, see, see, when, when God says in the end times that you got to press, yeah. that you got to endure, that you got to abide, he said because the powers of heaven are going to be shaken, yes. you can't pull back. But now you got to stand again. See, see because, see, see because. Let me prove that to him. Uh, uh, preacher, can you do me one favor? Preacher, can you find me Ephesians six or uh, 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 eleven? Tell me what's that? Watch this. Then here's what the church is supposed to be doing. Now I didn't say this because I, I didn't want to spit it out of my mouth. I want you to hear. I want you to hear God tell Paul to tell you. Says, put on the whole arm of God that you 
you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Now, watch this. When you stand, he said you're standing against the seducing, the beguiling, the deception of what Satan is doing. Not against what flesh and blood is doing. You stand against what Satan is doing. He says that you do all to do what? Stand. Is that what he said? So now that means God has in this season made fighters, soldiers. Yes, sir. We don't fight down for the fight. Right. We stand against yes. the fight. Jesus. How many of us have got that understanding? See, if your heart ain't right with God, when God say, if I be for you, who can be against you? If your heart ain't right with God, you'll, you'll buy down the COVID. Yeah, come on. Uh -huh. You'll buy down the COVID. If your heart ain't right with God, God said, if I be for you, who can be against you? He said, worry about not the one. He said, don't worry about the one that hurt your body. He said, your body is dirt. He said, worry about the one that's hurt the soul and I'm restoring the soul. So he said, worry about the one that can hope and destroy the soul. So now if God be for you, what in the world can be against you? Let me prove it. I'm about to. Let me prove it. They said Jesus was coming down the road. Say so 10 come across, bro. And, and, and that day, it won't cope and it be less. They had a colony that were keeping them in. They wouldn't even let them be amongst society. Oh, no, they won't have to wear no masks. They couldn't even be out there. Disciples were surrounding Jesus. Jesus was walking down that road. About that time, the 10 left was come by, and the disciples said, Jesus said, Yes. And laid hands. I'll turn on here. I'll turn on here. Can I bridge that over to 14, John 14, 12? John 14 tells that, Brother, brother, I say unto you, he that believeth and abide in me, and I abide in them, the work that I do, they will do also in greater works when they do. That's what I said. That's what I said. Okay, so now, if John 14, 12 is, is right, Jesus is not only ordained me, to do what he did, that's why he said signs and wonders will follow me. But ain't no signs and wonders gonna follow nobody that every time something comes. Huh? Ain't no signs and wonders gonna follow you. Ain't no signs and wonders gonna follow you. You want me to tell you why? You ain't exercising signs and wonders. You and you and you ain't using the keys of the kingdom. You're not using your relationship with your father. You're not using your relationship in Jesus. You're not using the promises. You're not using what he said about you. Now, I'm going to shut it down right here. Second Peter 1, 3, my favorite scripture. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I came to tell somebody today you ain't like a nail thing and nail footstep you take. And when Second Peter 1, 3 says, I have given you everything you need according to life. Into godliness. Yeah. Let me say that one more time for the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I've given you everything you need according to life in godliness. He said, I have given you everything you need according to life in godliness. He said, Well, what you need is that he's already given you everything. He said, You ain't got the knowledge. Oh, hey. mm. <laughs> he said, You ain't got the knowledge of what you got. He said, Your knowledge. Or what you got is what will set you free. Yes, sir. Because it's already there. Mm. It's already hanging on every foot, every foot, bro. Every footstep I got been custom ordered. Right. Not where I drive it on my car. Every footstep I got been custom ordered by the Lord. Yeah. Every anointing, every promise, every ordination that I need from God is in every footstep yeah. that I take. And it's so powerful that everywhere I put my feet, he gives it to me. Yes, Lord. Because I'm high authority. And according to Isaiah 9, I am the increase of his government. So when I come to town, COVID running for me. I'm bounty hunter. 
I'm standing against the things that ain't right. See, because I ain't cast man no more. I ain't cast man no more. I'm redeemed man. I got privileges. No! That's written that don't affect me. I'm going back to where I started off at. I expire 39. If God is behind me, Ain't nothing can bring me to nothing. Or else he will find himself fighting against God. Yeah. Woo. Itself. Yeah. I got a little strap in me. Yeah. Woo. I got a little strap in me. Oh, I'm going to tell you why. I want the devil to know. I'm in time. Okay. And I don't fear no man. <laughs> because he told me when I, when I first realized who he was, he said, time at your home, boy. Time at your home. You have a task to me. At any time, I can take you out. But that don't mean that that's the end of you. I'm just going to call you to a higher power. It's going to be all right. Amen. I got to looking at that thing. So watch that defeat. The defeat itself. But can I ask y'all this question before I go back and pray? Is a Christian having faith, having hope, committing to have an everlasting life? Yes. Huh? Well, it's time everlasting. Huh? You want to see some of the most no. old, right, tool talking Christian followers? Lord, you got to say, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, the doctor said. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 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 But then he tell you ain't gonna be no end. He gonna call you to a higher calling. What the doctor said don't bother me. Glory. <laughs> the doctor looking for you to fall apart, sir, but sir, that when you don't fall apart, oh, Mr. Samson, you think this is something play play that we just told you? No, but you don't understand. <laughs> oh, you don't understand. You don't understand, Mr. Samson. <laughs> You're going to have a hard road ahead of you. What we don't understand. I said, you don't know the God. Go ahead, man. Right there. Right there. Until he finished with me, you can tell me all you want. Because when he left out of the room, I said, God, you finished with me. He said, no, you are just teaching him here. I'm still here. Amen. I'm still here. I started it. I started with council over there mm -hmm. in the leaning tree, and I'm over in the new part, and I'm still there. Yeah. Man ain't been able to shut me down. Oh, yeah, Sanders ain't been able to shut me down. I know God. Yes. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. So I want you to understand this. Thank you, God. Now I come today to give back to God. The night he found me, I owe him all I can do for him. Yes, Lord. So my cause, my assignment, my service, my praise, my love for him is where I am and where I realize he has brought me to. I can't pull back because the world is falling apart. And the only still place I've seen in the whole universe with all this mess going on is God. That's the only place I've seen that I can look and trust. It's God. That's the only place. Ain't nothing behind me. Let me tell y'all something. Ain't damn one of y'all in here put all your people, put all y'all testimonies together. All y'all together. Won't never crazy is what I would. All y'all together was never crazy. That's what I would do. I would take it to the limit. I mean, I would take it to the limit. Robbing, stealing, drugging, it didn't make no difference. I would take it to the limit. I was but why. Put all them testimonies together. You ain't never tried the stuff I could try. Saying that to say this. When God touched I had a half 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 a half
And all of a sudden, it just went sober. You know what I did? I broke off a piece by SD. That wasn't enough to chew. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna get it this time. Just cut me a shot out of that half a gallon of gin. He said, I'm gonna really get it this time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nothing. That's how you do it.
Spirit of Jimmy God, in this common name of Jesus Christ, before most Father, we come, Lord, to say thank you for the assembling together. We thank you for the corporate power of one having ten, a thousand to flight to ten thousand. Father, all the assembly that you have put in here, demons and devils, ought to be trembling in this earth. Mm -hmm. Now, Father, we have established your truth. Your word is true. Father, we pour down strongholds. We pour down confusion. We pour down bite biting. We pour down power. We pour down arrogance and pride. We pull it down, Father, and we reestablish the miracles, the power, the word of God to be done in this place. This is in order and in peace. Father, I ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch every person that's affiliated and assigned to what people in the past have prayed diligently, and you answered the prayers by establishing what it was that they desired. So, Father, now I ask, Lord, in the last leg of the journey, Father, don't let the devil close this church door. In the name of Jesus, Father, give them power to stand up and say, I'll stand for God. Whatever God assigns me to do, whatever God wants me to do, my relationship with him is just that great that it is you, Lord, I will follow, not me. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask, Lord, that you put so great of a flight of ministers, angels, upon this place to touch those that come in and out, anoint those that come in and out, the, uh, that are assigned, Lord, to understand that time is winding up and the only power that's going to be left in the earth realm as all this mystery of lawlessness is coming about is the power of you, God. If we don't stand on you now, we will fall for anything. Father, let us not fall, Father. But Father, we're going to ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, from heart to heart, call us to a higher calling. For this is your servant prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done to who you who is able to keep us from falling. Yes. And do it seemingly and more, abundantly more than we could ask, do, or say. Yes. To you, most wonderful and, and prince of counsel, yes. we ask, Lord, that you be with us as we go and we come, as we lie down and we get up. And all that we do in every breath, we realize you. We focus on you. For this is your servant, friend, and name.